viewers, greet in the name of God. Welcome to our channel from Holy Divine TV. My name is Zipi Abiyambu. Today we will be talking about the story of Noah in the Bible. Hope you'll be keenly noting down the points. But before we start, let, let my guests introduce themselves starting from that point. My name is Charlotte Abiyambu. I'm from Holy Divine Sunday School Ministry Teenage Class. My name is Tracy Casey. I'm from Holy Divine Sunday School Teenage Class. My name is Rooney Ado. I'm from Holy Divine Sunday School Teenage Class. Okay, my name is Andy Aqua. I'm from Holy Divine Teenage Class. Okay, to my guests, are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, to our first question, we'll go to Tracy. Who is Noah in the Bible? Noah is an obedient servant of God who found favor with God in a Midwest and a sinful world. He is most well known by building an ark that preserves himself and his family, as well as a representative of every land animal from a great flood that God unleashed in the world. Amen. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tracy. As all you have heard that Noah was the first man to build an ark, and he was an obedient servant of God. Amen. 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 To our second question, which goes to Andy, what is the meaning of Noah in the Bible? Okay, the meaning of Noah is a, is a Greek word which is called the Noah, which, which, which is, from, is from the Greeks, where, where Noah, you know, the, the meaning of word is rest and comfort. And comfort. And the meaning is that to, to and, and and why and, and, and why it was called like that because it showed comfort when Noah when Noah when God when God told Noah to build the ark for, for forty days so that forty days if Noah is mean he had comfort and enjoying himself because they, they followed God and they obeyed God and they are the second generation of man. Okay, thank you, Andy. We can also say that the meaning of Noah means rest. Amen. 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 To our third question, we we'll go to Rumi interesting facts about Noah. Okay. Some of the interesting facts about Noah is that he was from the 10th generation of Adam and he was his grandfather was known as Methuselah, noted as the oldest man in the Bible with 969 years. After the flood of 40 days and 40 nights, he was the first man to plant a vineyard and build an altar for God in Genesis 8:20. Amen. Okay, thank you, Andy. As you have heard that, the interesting facts about Noah, we can say that Noah was the first man to be drunk, and he was the first man to build an ark for God. Amen? Amen. Okay, to our, another question, which goes to Charlotte, what is the meaning of the, of the symbols found in the story of Noah? The symbols are things which are found in mostly Bible stories. In the story of Noah, we have five symbols. The first one is the raven, which is the dove that represents peace in the story of Noah. Then we have the mountain. It represents peace in life where Jesus was transfigured. And in the story of Noah, it represents hope. Then we have number 40. It represents wholeness in the story of Noah. Then we have the ark. It represents the house that, that preserves God, God's people. Then we have, we have the rainbow. It represents the promise that God, God told Noah that he will not destroy the earth again with floods. Amen. 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 Okay, thank you, Charlotte. To our viewers, we can say that 40 days also seen during the transfiguration where Jesus fasted for 40 days and nights. Amen. 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 Okay, to another question. The narration of Noah, the story of Noah. Let's start with Andy. Okay, in the beginning, there was a man at the Old Testament who was named Noah. He was a faithful man and a good servant of God. He obeyed God, he obeyed God and worshipped his ways. And, and he was living in a state that people, the, the area was very sinful. But he still obeyed God, and 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 that sin, and that sinful way, and that sinful, and that sinful way, made God, made God angry, and and, and God said that He's going to put a flood for forty days, and and the flood, and the flood destroyed everything, and told not to build an ark, so you, so you can serve him and his family. At the ark, there were eight people: Noah, 
his wife and his three sons and their wives. And the, and the animals who were in to go to not to put them two by two. And then the, after the 40 days, no and his family had comfort and, 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 and they go and, and God said that and God sent a rainbow to show that they'll never be flood again. Amen. Recently, when there is rain, we, we, we see the rainbow coming from the sky. That is, a, that is a sign that shows that God will not destroy the earth again with floods, just like He promised, just like he promised Noah. Amen. Amen. We, cannot, we cannot understand God by His way only, but trust Him. God always open for us a way again. Amen. 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 For our second last question, which says, lesson learned from the story of Noah in the Bible. Okay, the, the first lesson learned from the story of Noah is that Noah, Noah the people who were saved in the ark were eight, Noah and his family. And the, and the, and the second lesson is that Noah, 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 Noah and his family are the second generation of mankind. The third one is that God provide a way for salvation. People on earth were given the chance to to repent and go with Noah in the ark, but they refused. We also see this as God's as this lesson as God fulfillment in this person. And the other one is that God is always with us, even if we even if we even if the world the world thinks we are crazy. Amen. God, God always opens for us another way. Thank you. Another one is that Christians should overcome temptation of, of a, or no matter the cause of the world just to bring out and also God is a present God. Amen. 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 To my guests, what can we say about our generation by differentiating the story of Noah and our lifestyle today? Okay, some of the similarities of the story of Noah and our life today is that we have been noticing much floods in our countries, some of them in Africa, that it has been killing cattle, destroying houses and also our jobs. And that is due to the wickedness that people of, of Africa have been doing during the, the time. So I, sh I would like to advise them that they should turn from their ways and get back to God because it's the moment that he gets angry, yeah, I agree that he put a covenant between us that we never destroy the earth again in the flood, but when you continue sinning, that's what you will do. Amen. Thank you. To my guests, I hope that you have learned something in this message, my viewers too. Thank you viewers, I hope that you have keenly written some important points that we have discussed. Shalom. Shalom.